Welcome to our screening of the 1957 Soviet Russian film, The Cranes Are Flying. This film won the grand prize at Cannes in 1958. So what you guys are about to see is a remarkable piece of art and truth. The director is Mikhail Kalazotov, who would later go on to direct Soy Cuba. And it stars Alexei Batalov and Tatiana Samoylova. This film centers around the two lovers and the impact that World War II has on their relationship and their lives, in fact. And what's remarkable about this film compared to prior Russian or Soviet films that addressed World War II is that it focuses on the individual. And the individual in this case is not presented in glowing heroic terms, although obviously sacrifices are made. Prior to this, Russian films that dealt with World War II would have dealt with the subject in a grand, patriotic, romanticized fashion. Yes, there would be losses, but they would have been okay because those losses occurred in defense of the motherland. This film, for a change and for something different, really focuses on the individual and questions those experiences. There are a number of other remarkable things about this film, um, and I hope that you'll pay attention to certain scenes because these scenes would have never happened either. But since this is a film that was made in the thaw, and at this point in time in Soviet culture, there is a loosening of restrictions. Um, censorship is not as harsh as it had been, but as anyone knows who's ever lived in the winter um, or in a country where it snows greatly, when things thaw, you're not, it's messy. It's, it's, it's not pleasant and you don't quite know how you can get your footing and where it's safe to step. And for much of Soviet artists during the thaw, this period between Joseph Stalin and Brezhnev, people were still a little unsure of how far they could go, what they could say, what they couldn't say. But this film, there the scenes that in particular that you should note, just to get your, your grounding on where you're at in this film, at one point, the young girls from the Communist Youth League come to visit the father, whose you know, son is being marched off to war, and pay attention to how the father talks to them and pay attention to what he says to them when they come to give their own brand of communist youth league ex exuberance and enthusiasm and support really. I mean, they're there for support. There are also other topics that are touched on in this film that would not have been addressed in previous films that dealt with World War II. There are instances where individuals are able to get out of service through bribery. This would have never been mentioned before. Um, there's also a scene involving Squirrel or in, involving Veronika, the lead actress, Tatiana Samoylova. And this scene in and of itself hints at sexual violence against a woman. And again, this is not something that would have happened before. It's not graphic, so please don't worry about that. But these are just subjects that let you know this in fact is a thaw film and these are not subjects that would have been touched upon in prior films at this point. This is an attempt to bring in a sense of realism and a sense of individuality and a sense of how much the Russian people and other people involved in World War II suffered and they suffered greatly. There's a reason, again, as I said, that it's referred to as the Great Patriotic War. So I hope you guys enjoy this film. It really is a wonderful film. Um, again, think about it in terms of the thaw and things that were changing in Soviet culture and things that you could do that you probably couldn't have done before. But again, this is a reflection of the lived experience of the Russian people. And the film is groundbreaking in a number of ways. The cinematography is amazing. And it does show the rest of the world, especially on an international stage, that Russian film directors were still making excellent films and that it was possible. So thank you so much and enjoy the film.